Hello friends! Welcome to Virtual Toddler Storytime. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Jennifer and I'm one of the librarians for Denver Public Library at the Ross University Hills Branch. Some of you might recognize me from story times in person at the branch or any other programs you've come to at the library. So hello, thanks for coming today. So we're going to do a bunch of singing and rhymes and share a book together. Should we go ahead and get started? Awesome. Okay, so we're going to start with a hello song and we're going to practice some of our signs first. This uses a few American Sign Language signs so we'll practice and then we'll add our singing voices. Okay, so the first sign is hello, and that's like a salute. The second one is friends. Hold up your two pointer fingers and they hug and hug again. So we have hello, friends. The third sign is time and just tap your wrist like you're wearing a wristwatch. The fourth one is say, and that's just to your chin and down. Okay, so we're going to add our singing voices now. Are you ready to help me sing? Awesome. All right, here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Great job. And we're actually gonna do that a second time. We do lots of things in story times multiple times because it helps build bigger brains. We're developing memory. And actually singing is a great way to help develop memory too. So let's do that one more time. Does anyone remember how we start? Yes, with a hello, good job. Hello friends, hello friends. Hello friends, it's time to say hello. Wonderful, nice job. So let's get our bodies moving. I like to move around a lot during story time. Helps get some of our wiggles out and also very young kids just can't sit still for long. So let's move our bodies. This one is called walking, walking, and I'm sitting in a chair. But at home, feel free to get up and move around the room if you like. So we're going to start by walking, then we're going to hop, and then we run, and then we stop. And then the second verse, we're going to go up on our very tippy toes and tiptoe around the room. And then the last part is marching, okay? Do you think we can do that? I know you can. Here we go with walking. Walking, 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 walking. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Running, running, running. Running, running, running. Now let's stop. Now let's stop. Beautiful job. Great job stopping. So songs like this where you're stopping or pausing, that's really great for creating self-regulation. So the next part is tiptoeing. And tiptoeing is on the very balls of your feet, the very front part of your feet. And tiptoeing is really great for helping develop balance. Tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. Hop, 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 hop. Running, 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 running. Now let's stop. Now let's stop. Nice job stopping. Okay, the next part is marching. Marching is a lot like walking, but it's a more exaggerated movement. So we're going to swing our arms and we're going to get our knees up high. Can you try that at home? Marching. Good. Marching, 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 marching. Hop, 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 hop. Running, 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 running. Now let's stop, now let's stop. Great job. Now, to introduce our book, which is a book about opposites, I thought we'd do a rhyme called this is big. Okay, so you can just follow along at home. This is big, big, 
big. Stretch your arms way out. Good job. This is small, small, small. I like to pretend I'm holding a little mouse in my hands. What are you holding? A grasshopper. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is short, short, short. Now we're gonna stretch way up high and way up low, way down low. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Nice job. Okay, our book today is called Big Bear, Small Mouse. And there's our friend Bear on the cover and a little tiny mouse. So grown-ups and caregivers at home, making comparisons is a great way to develop some early math skills. So a couple ways you can do this are by gathering some objects and making comparisons or like maybe when you're getting snacks together, you can ask which pile of snacks has more, which has less. And of course, counting is also really important for developing some early math skills. Mouse hops onto Bear. He is careful not to fall. Bear is big, big, big. Can you make yourself big at home? And Mouse is small, small, small. How do you make yourself small at home? Are you crouching down? Yes, just like a little mouse. Small mouse, big bear. They look like they're having a great time together. Oh, mouse is holding a feather. I think maybe he's tickling bear. Bear and mouse both wave to their friends as they go past. Badger moseys slowly, but hair runs very fast. I like that word mosey, mosey. That means to move slowly somewhere. Badger moseys slowly. How do you move slow? Yeah, slow movements, good job. Show me how you move fast. Oh, are you running around the room? Yeah. Slow badger, fast hair, small mouse, and big bear. What's that up above? There's a flutter in the sky. Wren is flying low. A wren is a type of bird. And who's up high? Do you know that type of bird? Owl, good. While owl is soaring high. There's a clatter in the glen. High owl, low wren. Slow badger, fast hair, small mouse, and big bear. Oh, some more friends. Mole and gopher tunnel up and join the happy crowd. The sun sets on the quiet woods. Can you be quiet at home? Quiet. But all the friends are loud. Can you make a loud noise? Ah! Quiet woods, loud friends. Hi, owl. Low wren, slow badger, fast hare, small mouse, and big bear. Raven flies down from the sky. Look, here comes a storm. Outside is getting wet and cold, but the lair is nice and warm. Lair, that's another interesting word. A lair is like another name for a den where a bear might live. All together, 
gathered there, cold night, warm air, quiet woods, loud friends, high owl, low wren, slow badger, fast hare, small mouse. Look what's happening. I see lots of rain. Oh, they look cold and wet. <gasps> Big bear. And there they are in the bear's lair. Looks like a warm place. They've got a fire and some cookies. What else do you see on this picture? Oh yeah, a teapot. Maybe they're making some tea to share or maybe some cocoa. Yes, looks like they're going to have a little party. The end. Did you like that one? Me too. So now, because we're doing things about big and small, I thought we'd do a little rhyme about a pine cone. It's called, I'm a little pine cone. Have you ever seen a pine cone on a pine tree outside? Sometimes they're on the tree and sometimes they've fallen and they're on the ground. Maybe when you go for a walk next time, see if you can find a pine cone. So I'm a little pine cone. I'm a little pine cone. Can you make a fist with your hand? I live in a tree so tall. Stretch your branches up. When the cold wind blows, I dance and hop. Then down on the ground with a plop, plop, plop. Are you on the ground? Good. I can't go all the way on the ground or you wouldn't see me. Let's do that one more time. I'm a little pine cone, brown and small. I live in a pine tree, oh, so tall. When the cold wind blows, I dance and hop and down on the ground with a plop, plop, plop. Nice job. Okay, I think it's time to wave goodbye. I hope you come to some of our uh, library branches and see some of us and we can do some story times and other fun programs together. Hope you're having a good time at home today. Let's wave goodbye. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Hope you have a beautiful day. Maybe go out there, take a walk, Maybe you'll find a pine cone, or maybe you'll find some of the friends we saw in our book, but hopefully no bears. Have a great day.